Hey everyone, Jennifer from Charles Speech with your pronunciation question. Today's question is a rather long one. I have a lot of words for you, so I'm going to skip the definitions because we want to jump right into the lesson. And the lesson today is about two things, the long E versus the short I sound and the N mm, versus the mm, M sound at the end of words. So let's look at the word list that we have for today. We have the word seen and seen and sin, seem and seem and sim, which is short for simulation. So let's look first at the ending sounds, the M versus the N. This gets super confusing for my students because in many languages, the N sound is the only sound that can end a word that is a nasal, which means the sound is coming out of your nose. You do have um, nasals in many other languages like the M sound, but typically that sound comes at the beginning of a word. So my students get really confused with this ending. So for the N sound, the air is going to come out of your nose and you are going to touch the tip of your tongue to the back of your top front teeth. Mm, mm. For the M sound, mm, your lips are just going to be closed and the air is going to come out of your mouth. So again, the difference is mm versus mm, mm, mm. Easy breezy, right? Now, for the long E versus the short I sound. For the long E, your tongue is going to be high in your mouth and flat. It's going to be behind your top teeth. E. Your lips are going to be in a smile and they're going to be tense. E. E. Then for the I sound, which is a little bit less tense, your mouth is going to be relaxed and your lips are going to then just relax and pull in a bit. So we have e, i, e, i. You can see that difference, tense versus relaxed, really pulled back only versus slightly pulled back. The tongue will go from e, way at the top, way up here to i, e, i, e, i. I like to tell my students, don't really think about moving your tongue. Think about moving your lips and your mouth and that really is going to help your tongue get into the right spot. So think about those lips. E, I, E, I. So again, let's remember the N, N, and the M, M. E, I, E, I. Okay, let's put it all together. We're gonna start these words with just the S sound. Super easy breezy, just tongue is either behind the top of your teeth or pointed down into the bottom of your mouth. Don't touch anything and just let that air move out of your mouth. So for the first two words, we have seen, 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 sin, 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 seen, sin. And then for seem, 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 sim, sim, sim. Let's try them backwards. Sim, seem, sin, seen. Seen, sin, seem, sim. So give it a try. I know people are going to notice the difference. If you found this helpful, we would love a like, a share, and a subscribe. Check out our products on Google Play and iTunes and visit us at Tarl Speech. 